Hello and thank you for joining in. This is Goldie again. In the last video, we have uh, registered our Google domain to G Suite. In this video, we will take the setup further and we will verify our domain to Google. So Google allows us to start using its G Suite's messaging and collaboration services. So for that, when I'm here, I will click on manual setup, which will take me to the screen where it only says that you know manual setup requires some knowledge uh, and so on but that's okay if we have the enough knowledge for that we will go ahead and click on go to admin console which will take us to the Google or G Suite administration panel where we can perform all the administrative uh, functions here we will click on verify domain because that's the first step Let's verify your domain ownership. Click on get started. Choose the method. There are multiple methods to verify your domain ownership to Google. I always find uh, the TXT or the CNAME method uh, easy because you just need to go to your DNS and create that entry. Uh, so it is not showing that. Let's click on anything. Uh, and now if you click here again, it will give you that option of changing or querying a DNS record. So click on add a domain host record. So now it is asking me to log into my Google domains because that's where my domain is and I can create all the required DNS records there. So in the in the second tab I have already logged into my Google domains but if you haven't just go to domains.google.com and then sign in with your uh, ID and password to log in and come back here and say I have successfully logged in. The next step is to find where you're gonna make changes or the DNS changes in Google domains. So let's go uh, into our Google domains. I have a few domains here so I will blur all the names and only show you the one that we are verifying. It's goldiorer.com and if I click here this one which says configure DNS I'm gonna click on that and here it will give me the option to create the required entries. For that I will come here with say, which says custom resource record. I'll go back to admin console and say I've, I've got the place where I can make the changes or query the record. Now it is giving me a txt record. So DNS record uh, would have a host name and the value. The host name is at the rate when it comes to Google domains and value is this t this, this uh, big string. So you will copy that string here. So now we will go back to our Google domains and create a new txt record and to create the txt record you need to select txt from here to let Google domains know that it, it's a txt record. This is the host name and that should be at the rate and this is the value so I'm gonna paste the value which I copied from my admin console and I will click on add once you do that it, you will get a message saying it is successfully saved the changes and now you can come back here and tell Google that you have created the record and Google will now do a txt lookup uh, which is just you know kind of uh, checking whether you have created that record or not. If you did, that means you are the owner of that domain because only domain owners would have access to the DNS panel of that domain. So I will click on I have created the TXT record. I have saved the TXT record and I will say verify. Now sometime it does not happen straight away because it might take some time uh, to reflect the record that you made in Google domains so if it does not happen right away it would be uh, good to just you know wait for five ten minutes and then come in, come back here and click on verify but just to take a chance I will click on verify straight away and it says that it's gonna take a few minutes to verify that inf information but it didn't take that long which is good it says your domain is verified as a next step I will click on continue setup and in the next video we will configure emails so that uh, you, you should start receiving emails when somebody sends you at your email addresses which you created. So stay tuned and watch the next video. Thank you.